right, guys, this is Onisha Biggs of PharmacyTechLessons.com, and this is another episode of the Ask PTL Show. And today, I'm going to be breaking down to you what the pros are of being a pharmacy technician. Like, what's good about it? What's the point? Let's talk about it. What are the pros of being a pharmacy technician? Okay, so this is a really, really good inquiry that we have received. All right, so first things first, I'm just going to get right into it. The pros of being a pharmacy technician. Now, they do have their cons, but this is specifically about the pros because you guys want to know, like, what's good about it? What's the whole point of it? All right, so this could be good for you if you're not a pharmacy technician yet. And even if you're in retail pharmacy, I, I can talk to you about like some higher level things of the pharmacy field. OK, so the first thing I want to discuss, though, is the flexibility. That's the first pro. So when you're working in pharmacy, they have retail pharmacy. You have um, you have hospital pharmacy. You have even online pharmacy. If you've checked out our channel, then we, we actually talk about some of that, too. And even in our communities. We teach you how to get those jobs, but you have a lot of flexibility in pharmacy and being a pharmacy technician. All right. Not only with just the job selection, but you also have a lot of flexibility when it comes to the hours that you work. So, for instance, if you work in retail pharmacy, there's going to be a lot of opportunity for you to be flexible. That's why a lot of college students, they love working in retail pharmacy. Why? Because compared to like what you would get be getting paid as a server or be getting paid uh, yeah waiting tables or something like that you get paid a lot more as a pharmacy technician plus you still get to have the same flexibility in a stable career field which leads to my second point stability all right if you didn't know the pharmacy technician industry is currently growing at a nine percent growth rate that's huge that's a lot. OK. Uh, and, and you can look this up compared to other uh, career fields. So with that being said, you're going to have a lot of stability getting in this field of work. All right. So that's a huge pro because you have a lot of people. They might get into a certain industry and they find that um, the, the growth opportunities or they find that the jobs aren't as readily or as available to them. But they have a ton of pharmacy technician jobs out there. OK, so. The third thing, I wanna talk about the growth opportunities. You have a lot of opportunity to grow. So that's why I said at the beginning of this episode, um, doesn't matter if you don't have a pharmacy job already, doesn't matter if you do, but you work in retail, it doesn't even matter if you think you're already on the mountaintop and you have a hospital pharmacy job, you can go even higher in pharmacy, all right? The, the, the options, and the level that you can go, it's almost limitless. I'm not gonna say it's limitless. It does have a limit, but it's almost limitless compared to other industries, all right? So you have other options like um, retail pharmacy. Then you go from retail to hospital. Then you go from hospital to uh, even infusion pharmacy and, and online pharmacy, compounding pharmacy. You can go work for an insurance company. You can get into pharmacy sales. You can become a pharmacist. We've had even students that have gone through our programs and our trainings that have become uh, pharmacists now. All right. So there are a lot of um, opportunities you can make six figures plus in the pharmacy industry all right so let's just say that okay you can make a good living in this industry and there are a lot of pros even with working in hospital pharmacy okay let's talk about that because a lot of people have questions about that i'm not gonna say that retail pharmacy doesn't have its stressors because it does and if you work in retail then you know exactly what i'm talking about but in hospital pharmacy that's where you're going to be a little more laid back, a lot less stressful. Here's why. Is it because maybe you have a boss that's not tough? No, you'll probably still have that depending on what hospital you work at. You just can't get away from that in any job, to be honest. But um, it's going to be a lot more laid back because you have your same workflow pretty much every day in the hospital pharmacy. OK, so that's a huge pro. You know exactly what to expect when you're at work. All right. Another thing is you pretty much work the same shift 
and there are great salary and benefit opportunities in the hospital pharmacy as a technician. So let me just share something with you really quickly. I wanted to share this fact with you um, about the salary that you can be expected. So in retail pharmacy, you can expect between uh, roughly, I've heard as low as $9, but as great as $16 per hour in retail pharmacy. Now, on the other hand, with hospital pharmacy, you can expect anywhere from about $12 an hour all the way up to $32 an hour as a pharmacy technician. All right. So as you can see, a great benefit are those salary opportunities and the benefits, insurance, uh, paid time off. Uh, yeah, the PTO, they're all types of things. Even some hospitals, though, they will give you um, um, what you call like gym memberships and, and wellness clubs. Like there are a lot of benefits and different cool things that you can get in the medical field and being a pharmacy technician. OK, lastly, I want to say this. Becoming a pharmacy technician, a pro, it's one of the few fields where you can make that amount of money and not even have to have a formal training to enter into the field. All right. So to actually become a pharmacy technician in a lot of states, you don't have to have your certification right off. OK, there are a lot of pharmacy techs that don't have a certification. Now, eventually, of course, you want to do that because that makes your your level of potential go up higher and increase. But you don't need any formal formal training to become a pharmacy technician all right you can literally just get into this field and start to grow from there and have success so you don't need a four-year degree you don't even need a two-year degree to become a pharmacy technician so that's another pro this is a field that all you have to do is get out there do your due diligence and you can enter into this field easily okay so i'm gonna end it there I know there are a lot more pros to becoming a pharmacy technician, but I want to leave it at that. If you have any more questions about this, leave it in the comments below. Of course, you already know I'm going to answer your questions um, and we'll talk soon concerning more pros on becoming a pharmacy technician. Thank you, guys. This has been Onisha Biggs with Pharmacy Tech Lessons. Thanks for checking out the video. Have a wonderful day. will give you, got a bus back there.